In this video, I wanted to demonstrate to you what is actually possible with publishing outside of Amazon KDP. I publish my books across a number of different platforms, including Amazon KDP, Ingram Spark, and Draft to Digital. Plus, I've also got some audiobooks that I publish through Findaway Voices. But in this video, I wanted to show you the power of publishing outside of Amazon KDP to show you what is actually possible and how much revenue can, you can generate by um, using other platforms to also distribute your books. You see, Amazon KDP doesn't have exclusivity on your books, so you're welcome to upload your books to other platforms. However, there are a few things, important things, you need to take in consideration if you are considering uploading your books to a platform like Ingram Spark. Now, in a moment, I'm going to show you my dashboard on Ingram, show you what's possible with the revenue side of things, book sales, and show you a bit of my journey. But I'm also going to reflect on a few of the slides that I've got in my Ingram Spark course to show you what kinds of books you can publish on Ingram Spark, a few different points between Amazon KDP and Ingram, and a few key important things to take into consideration to make sure it's going to be the right platform for you. Now, if you haven't been to my channel before, welcome. My name is Romney, and I'd love to be able to show you um, a lot of different things you, you need to consider when you are self-publishing. My publishing journey started uh, about uh, or December 2019, and in that time, I've been able to publish well over 350 books on uh, Amazon KDP, but on Ingram Spark, it's a little less. It's around about 80 books. But let me show you a few of the key things uh, that you will be surprised about, but also might actually motivate you to publish outside of Amazon, because it really is additional income that you receive from Ingram if you can get your books up there. So let's get onto my dashboard. Then I'm going to show you if you're through a few important slides that will help you to decide whether that platform is right for you. Finally, if you stick around to the end of the video, I've got a couple of very, very important specials uh, to let you know about. So make sure you stick around for those and I'll let you know what they are. I've now logged into my Ingram Spark account and it's under reports, new under compensation. And what I've done is just gone across to the, where is it, lifetime. So you can actually customize it with it, most recent year to date, last year, lifetime. So I've clicked on lifetime. And this will show you what the total sales have been. So this has been a period of time throughout 2020, 2021, and we're now just into 2023. So basically two years. So let's have a look at the total sales, um, sorry, three years, 20, 21, 22. Now let's have a look at the total sales. We've got 15,000, just over 15 and a half thousand books that have been sold and the net sales. So this is before you receive your compensation from Ingram Spark, but the total sales, this is in Australian dollars, by the way, is $132,000. So looking at the calculations for US dollars, it's approximately 100 thousand US dollars. There's a print charge which occurs for all the printing of the books and there's some tax. The net publisher compensation is $57,000. Uh, that is in my pocket from Ingram Spark from really creating and putting those books up to, up on New Ingram and I have not done a single thing about advertising or marketing those books for Ingram Spark. So it's completely additional income. Whereas with my books on Amazon KDP, I'm having to use Amazon advertising to market those books. So to get that amount of money and that amount number of book sales is uh, amazing given that I've place those books up there in addition to the other platforms I do to generate that form of income. And it's all bonus income. I don't really expect that income each month. It's a bonus for me and it continues to roll on month in, month out once those books are uploaded. But let's have a look at a few of the key considerations for you to think about 
before you self-publish your books on the Ingram Spark, and I will be referring to a few of the lessons within my Ingram Spark course, which is available on Udemy and Skillshare. So let me give you a quick overview or an introduction to Ingram Spark. So Ingram Spark connects your book to over 40,000 libraries and retailers in person and online worldwide. They print and sell locally and globally. Author compensation is paid for every sale. It's paid about every night. It's 90 days following the sale. Uh, you can track all your sales via your Ingram Spark dashboard. They offer print on demand, uh, which is the same as Amazon. And Ingram offers paperbacks, hardbacks, and ebooks, and in a wide variety of cover trim choices. So this was my journey up until May 2022, so 14,470 book sales. And I commenced Ingram in late December 2019. I almost don't even count that, uh, just because it was around about the 20th of December. So if you want to create an Ingram Spark account, then you can just go to myaccount.ingramspark.com forward slash account forward slash sign up, and you can follow the details there. So let's have a look at the book distribution network of Ingram. Ingram Spark connects your book to over 40,000 libraries and retailers in person and online uh, across the world. So they've got a huge network. You're not going to get your book into every one of those because there's a number of different factors that you need to look into, including your wholesale discount, the kind of book you've got. Uh, I do cover that a lot more in the course, but let's keep going. So indie authors will have access to one of the publishing industry's largest global and ebook distribution networks in the world. And with Ingram's print-on-demand service, you can order a physical title through Ingram and the order prints, ships and arrives to the customer, store a library within a few days. And Ingram Spark makes distribution for self-publishers even more expansive by granting access to Ingram's global online and print distribution partners. So they're available in the United States and Canada, United Kingdom and Europe, and Australia and New Zealand. Yes, there are fees associated with uploading your book to Ingram Spark. And this is where a lot of people decide that maybe it's not quite right for them. And this can be an advantage of some sorts because if you upload your book to, to Amazon KDP it's of course free so a lot a lot of people are doing that the um, the barrier to entry is a lot uh, less however if you are paying an upload fee there's going to be, of course going to be lots of people that can't do that but there is a workaround and so when you are doing your upload you get to this page where it ask for a $49 payment based on the cover setup and the um, book block setup. So it's $49. But what's the workaround? We could use the Alliance of Independent Authors. So you can uh, have free setups with them and save $49. Now, there is a payment of approximately $150 to join the Alliance of Independent Authors. And I'll put the link in the description below. But from that membership, you then get the opportunity of uploading five books per month with a free coupon code, saving yourself $49 every single time. And at the point, at this point of filming, that's still available and has been so for well over 12 months now. So if you plan on doing that and if you had five books to upload every single month then the savings would be significant nearly two thousand dollars worth of savings so if you want to upload to ingram spark then you can use your uh, alliance of independent authors discount code and that um, keeps being renewed every month as i mentioned time of filming that was uh, the way that I'll, the way I'm doing it right now and continues to be the way but just make sure you check it out before you take up the membership to ensure that that's still uh, relevant but at this point in time it is so what should you know about uploading to Ingram Spark we do need an ISBN and an ISBN is a unique 13 digit uh, number that's assigned to every book and it's basically uh, it's a number that identifies your book to everyone else. Now, Amazon KDP do offer you a free ISBN, but now they've changed it where uh, low or many low-content books and no-content books, they don't offer that anymore. 
but there are advantages with purchasing your own ISBN. And what I do is I will use that same ISBN to upload my book to Ingram Spark as I do with Amazon. Therefore, they link a lot easier, but it has to be the same book, same dimension, same content, same author details, same subject, also title heading and um, subtitle headings. All those things need to be exactly the same. You can't just have the one ISBN and, and change the book around. It has to be the same one. Uh, now, in the course, I go through some more details about the costings and the pricing around ISBNs, so it might be worthwhile checking that out a bit more. So now let's have a look at the big one, Ingram Spark versus Amazon, and a comparison of both of them so you have a better understanding of what's going on. So both Ingram and Amazon both provide print-on-demand services, so that's the benefit of both. However, let's look at Ingram Spark. Ingram don't offer a marketing platform to advertise your books. Ingram permits hardbacks with as little as 30 pages, whereas uh, Amazon, I think it's about 75 pages for hardback. Ingram allows you to set a wholesale price discount. So that's what you're prepared to offer up to bookstores and online stores as a discount to the main recommended retail price. Again, I go into more detail in the course about that. Ingram Spark, from my experience, was provides better printing quality of the books with images, but that's just my personal view. Ingram Spark requires you to purchase your ISBN and there are upload and title revision fees should you wish to make a change. So it's $49 for the upload, but $25 per revision. But you can use your coupon code if you are a member with the Alliance of Independent Authors. Ingram Spark offers such a diverse global distribution network to over 40,000 libraries. Um, on worldwide, so that's huge diversification. And Ingram do have a catalogue integrity unit, and they're very strict with the types of books that are permitted. So I'll go into that in a moment. Let's look at Amazon then. So they offer the free title setup and free revisions. Amazon offers a marketing platform called Amazon Ads, and it's based on a bid per keyword. Amazon do offer free ISBN for most books. As I said, they've changed their um, their policy around that recently, so you just need to make sure you're following that. KDP can sell your books across more than 12 countries. They offer their 60-40 royalty op op uh, author competition split. That's after printing costs. As I mentioned before, KDP have a minimum 75 pages for hardbacks and is limited to five trim sizes for those hardbacks. Whereas Ingram offer a lot more variety for those hardbacks and uh, as little as 30 pages. Amazon KDP has a very small barrier to entry, therefore the competition is significantly higher. That's why I think I've made a lot more money um, by putting my books onto Ingram as well, because there's less competition. And they do have a loose policy on the types of books that can be uploaded, so there's not really a catalogue integrity unit as per se for them. But let's look at a few other things. These are the types of books permitted by Ingram. So as I mentioned, they do have a catalog integrity unit that checks to ensure your book meets the minimum requirements. And I'll provide a link in the description below about the catalog integrity unit and the kinds of books that you can permit. Now, if you've got no content books, then you can't do it. If you've got uh, high content books, absolutely. If you've got a, a children's picture storybook, Absolutely. If you've got maybe a camping journal with prompted questions throughout and different illustrations and things in it, yes, they permit that. But ensure your book meets the requirements before purchasing an ISBN and spending money on the upload fee because the no content books are not permitted. Some but not all forms of low content books are permitted. So as I mentioned, I strongly encourage you to check out the link so that you can actually find out whether it's right for you. And this is the document that outlines the content in, uh, sorry, the catalog integrity guidelines. So what they um, they don't they don't permit summaries, workbooks, abbreviations or similar kind of content without permission. Content containing materials, amounts of blank pages like notepads, scratch pads, journals or similar type content. And I'd encourage you to read through the rest of them. I'm not going to read through all of them, 
but please check that out. And there's a, if you just Googled content, uh, sorry, catalog integrity guidelines for Ingram Spark in Google, then a, a document or a, um, a site link will come up with something like this as well with one of these two. So just quickly looking at the types of interior print options available, you've got the black and white, standard color and premium color. So there's different paper weights and there's also that's the ink qualities and you've got the paper color as well. And these are the various trim sizes with and without bleed. So there's quite a lot you can choose from as well. So many of the books that you'd be publishing on Amazon KDP would match the trim sizes with Ingram Spark. So very quickly, if you were interested in finding out more about Ingram, if this is something that you'd want to do, then just check out the link below with the uh, course information. And this is, this is just a quick summary of what's included in the course. Uh, so there's a heap of information about how to publish, how to do it correctly, and how to start to generate income by using Ingram Spark. So there you have a bit of an overview of Ingram Spark. Again, my advice would be just to ensure that the kinds of books that you are creating are going to meet the, uh, the catalog integrity unit guidelines. Because I, what I don't want you to do is to purchase an ISBN or even prepare to upload your book to Ingram Spark and it doesn't qualify. As I mentioned, I've got about 80 books of my portfolio on Ingram Spark, and it's been an amazing way to generate that passive income. It's pretty much the best platform I find for my books to generate that passive income. There's just literally nothing that I do once that book goes up there. Whereas with a book with Amazon KDP, I've got to continue to market uh, with Amazon ads and keep that strategy and approach going. Uh, but with Ingram, I don't have to do that at all. So yes, there is a front-end upload cost. You can uh, uh, avoid a, a majority of that cost if you are a member with the Alliance of Independent Authors. Uh, but I'd say that my investment of my books, my 80 books, uh, with my Alliance of Independent Authors membership, just say I've had to spend $400 to upload those books, then to generate over $55,000 worth of income from that initial revenue outlay is absolutely worth it. So that's why I feel it's been the best um, way for me to, again, broaden my sales across multiple platforms with my books. Now, if you are interested in purchasing my course, then I'm going to offer a very special Udemy price of $12.99 99 for that course and that's only going to be available for the next 30 days so make sure you check out the link below and take advantage of that it's a, a course with over 30 different lessons and it will teach you everything you need to know it's got a, a really good star rating of 4.7 out of 5 so people are loving that course and then finally if you wanted to access all of my courses and do it on the one platform then there is actually a subscription model now, normally it's $29, but for those of you that are watching this video and watch me on YouTube, I'm going to offer the first 90 days for $12.50. So that's $12.50 per month rather than $29. So it's a 50% saving on your actual a subscription cost to, to view all of my seven courses. So if that's of interest to you, again, check out the links below. And that's my overview of Ingram Spark, but also the potential that you have for an income source uh, above and beyond platforms like Amazon KDP. So remember to think about your distribution. What other ways can you diversify your income? What ways can you continue to broaden your books to other different platforms that provide you that exposure? Ingram Spark is one of those. So make sure that if you are interested to look into it further, find out if something like that is going to be the right way forward for you. And of course, I've got my um, discount at the moment for my Udemy course and also the subscription model if that's something that you'd like to take up. So thank you very much. Remember, if you have liked this video, to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made more aware, sorry, 
made aware of more videos that I create in the future. So until then, I'll catch you later on.